So I had a lot of interest, a lot of good comments and feedback about the uh, what's in your bag video. So I figured I'd go through my travel case here and what I take out when I'm uh, bringing a little bit more kit. When I'm bringing some extra microphones, sometimes I'm bringing a whole bunch of random stuff. Sometimes I'm bringing really specific stuff. So I thought I'd just kind of do a quick, uh, quick overlook here as to what's in my bag right now. Um, so currently I've just got a bunch of general purpose stuff. Uh, this is a model uh, 1560 Pelican case that I use. I've had it for a little while now. It's getting a little beat up. That's mud from uh, actually doing sound at one of the Preakness stages this past year. Still hasn't come off. The wheels are starting to get a little worn down, but this guy's been all over the country, uh, literally trains, planes, uh, all manner of taxis, uh, cars, vans, um, buses. Uh, it's, it's been everywhere. Uh, it's flown. It has uh, been on the Amtrak a lot. So, you know, wheels uh, have held up pretty well for a few years, um, and those are easily replaceable. So right now it's just general. Um, let's see. Right now I've just got kind of general uh, stuff in here. Uh, top, go over real quick, poncho. Old style USB cable, bunch of tie line, quarter inch uh, cables, two quarter inch cables for DI boxes, guitar purposes, things like that. Uh, there's a USB stick stuck down in there, um, just a regular old USB stick. Uh, in this pocket here, we've got earplugs, little miniature screwdriver. These things are really, these things are really really cool. There's a whole bunch of tips stuck in there. You can stick them in the front here really easily uh, for taking apart small things, small electronics. Uh, tons of alcohol swabs, matches, lighter, uh, get the earplugs in there. Big Sharpie, three different colors of regular Sharpie, mechanical pencil, Klein wire stripper, crescent uh, needle nose for fine work, uh, mostly repairs. Down here we've got uh, soldering iron, solder sucker. Sponge for soldering. I actually need to get some more solder. I uh, just ran out the other day. Uh, network switch. That's in this guy. And this comes in. It's one of those things that uh, might be overkill. But man, I seem to need it from time to time. It's just a really simple little uh, network switch. It's powered. There's a power adapter in there. Bunch of short Cat5 jumpers. Uh, comes in handy more often than... I would uh, would have thought it would bought it for a specific uh, purpose and end up using it a lot. So that's all networking stuff. Solder need to get a little bit more. Another uh, little tin of solder, little roll actually, is what I normally have in there. Um, solder sucker jumped free. Put him back in there. Uh, right now I've just got gloves. Um, this is the same bag of stuff that was in my what's in my bag. This is the kind of stuff that goes back and forth between the bag and the case. Uh, some spike tape, another poncho, some more adapters and stuff, and laser measure. So that just kind of lives in there. Some extra headphones, pair of 7506 is in there right now. Uh, analog. Old school. Analog rat shack uh, meter. Need to put a new 9 volt in there. That just died the other day, but uh, been doing just fine for years. Headphone extension cable. Uh, these come in handy uh, quite a bit too. One of those things that it's just a good cable to have on hand. This is a piece of foam that I use as a divider. Uh, and what this allows me to do is if I've got this whole deck filled up, this lower deck filled, I can put this divider in and carry a couple of rack spaces worth of gear in here. I fit a three, uh, sorry, a two rack space tall uh, Mark the Unicorn 896. I've got one right down here. I fit that in there quite a few times. I have two of those, uh, a Mark III and an HD that I travel with occasionally for recording purposes. And that lets me fit one of those right on this deck and keep the buttons and knobs from getting bashed. This is the other chalk for doing that. I've had other pieces of rack gear in here uh, from time to time. A pair of shock mounts, a pair of Shure SM27s, uh, really good stage mics. I like those a lot for guitars. 
uh, for drum kit, a pair of those. And right now this slot down here is empty. My uh, Sennheiser E902 is, is out right now, but that's normally in there. Makes a nice three piece, uh, three mic drum miking package. Uh, this is the same bag of adapters I went over before. There's, uh, let's see here. All sorts of little adapters, Neutrik uh, barrels and things like that, and MP3 player adapters. Set that aside for now. Over here, I keep a real junky uh, PG48 uh, switched mic. This is my Talkback uh, House of God, Voice of God uh, mic, general purpose. And then this down here is uh, right now. I've got this uh, ND267, another just general purpose kind of Talkback mic that I've had kind of laying around for a while use it for various crap um desktop mic stands these come in really handy a bunch of different types of clips for those some windscreens and all this stuff a uh, little roll of gaff all this stuff will change depending on sometimes i'll just pull most of this out put different stuff in uh, right now i've got three claws in there i've got the claw clamps um a pair of turnarounds right now. Somebody's actually borrowing my big 200-foot uh, drive snake that has all the rest of these turnarounds. Um, these are female to female. I have male to male sets as well, and they're all in pairs of two. Uh, sorry about that. Radial Pro AV2. This is the AV two-channel radial DI passive. Uh, and that's pretty much what's in there right now. Like I said, a lot of this stuff changes um, depending on what i'm doing i will just pull out what i need and uh, or what i don't need and load up what i do need depending on the job or what i'm being asked to do that day obviously if i'm going to record something like a concert i'm going to bring different stuff than if i'm going to mix monitors for something um, or if i'm going to travel uh, a lot of times for traveling i'll take a whole bunch of stuff out of here and uh be able to pack, pack a couple days worth of clothes in with whatever gear I need. Uh, this obviously can fit GoPro in there. Uh, something I often do is put other pieces of gear. This is a new piece of gear, but that obviously four channel sound devices mixer would fit in amongst this quite nicely. I put rack gear. The reason I chose this model specifically, the 1560, is because I can fit rack gear uh, one space or two space rack gear in there uh, with a bunch of other stuff and not have it take up a whole bunch of room. So that's pretty much it. And uh, these are my other uh, adapters up here. You can see I've got the, uh, this is actually a lectern mic clamp and a stereo bar and a bunch of other stuff going on up there that, uh, that I'm using to hold the iPhone, but that normally lives in here too is a lectern mic clamp. So that's the Pelican travel case. Just a quick overview. All this stuff changes, goes in, goes out. Um, there's endless amounts of threads on forums about what people carry and what people think is important. I uh, would love to know what you guys are carrying, what you think is important. This is just the stuff that I've needed over the years. So I simply have bought what I've needed and carry it when I need to. Um, I'm definitely not suggesting anybody go out and buy a network switch to carry or any of this stuff really this is just things that i've found that i like to have uh, when i do work and it's stuff that's come in handy for me uh, i see things that, you know guys post online what they carry and some of the stuff it's uh, genius stuff i never would have thought of before that's really handy and other of it's stuff that i don't think i would ever need and i'm sure that's the same way of looking at anybody's kit it's very personal as to what you want and how you approach the work you do um like, I don't carry a lot of batteries. I might have a couple batteries in here occasionally, but I don't feel like, as a freelancer, it's my job to be providing batteries. Um, I usually have a few double A's, a few triple A's, maybe a 9-volt on hand just so I have uh, things, some extras. But I, I'm not providing, I know guys that carry 100 packs of double A's. Um, and all sorts of gaff tape and stuff, man, that's, uh, if you're a freelancer or if you're working for a company, um, not, not your job to finance the battery purchasing. So, uh, carry some spares, but don't, don't feel bad if you don't, uh, if you don't personally provide batteries and, and expendables, that's definitely not your job. 
Um, it's nice to have some for your own personal use, but I wouldn't get in the habit of carrying tons of that kind of expendable stuff uh, as giveaways or anything like that. To you know, guitar players that need a nine volt two minutes before doors, uh, you got to talk to your promoter or a runner or somebody coming to the front of house guy. You know, uh, not not really our thing. Uh, realistically, it shouldn't be. Uh, if you've got one. Feel free to help somebody out, but uh, shouldn't be relied upon. So uh, take that as you will. So that's it, the Pelican. Um, let me know what you think. Questions, comments, like, subscribe uh, if you dig it. i got more videos coming in the next few days. Thanks so much.